All right, today's example is going to be multiplying rational expressions. So this is like multiplying fractions. All right, so we're going to have similar rules to when we simplify rational expressions. But we're going to throw in some fraction operation rules. So this is multiplying. I'm just going to put a fraction off to the side here to remind you of the rules of multiplying. So let's say we had a problem two-thirds times one-fourth. If you remember the rules of multiplication of fractions, you multiply the top, so 2 times 1 would be 2. Multiply the bottom, 3 times 4 to be 12, so you get 2 over 12, and then you simplify, and you would get 1 6. So you multiply across the top, multiply across the bottom. Similar process when we have rational expressions, but we're going to go back to the rules that we did with simplifying rational expressions without the multiplication. First step is going to be factor where we can. So let's see. This first fraction, we have a squared minus 25 over a squared plus 3a minus 10. Can we factor each of those? We can. So let's factor. a squared minus 25 is two terms. Okay. Two terms, perfect squares. So that's difference of two squares. So I'm left with a minus 5 and a plus 5. Either order doesn't matter. And a squared plus 3a minus 10 would be type 1 factoring, where you have two numbers that multiply to negative 10 and add to positive 3, and that would be a plus 5 and a minus 2. Okay, so that first part is factored. Let's look at the next step, the next part, the next fraction. Anything to factor here, 10 times a minus 2. No, nothing to factor there, so I could write it out. And then I look over here, 4 times a minus 5, anything to factor? No, so I could just rewrite it. Keep in mind, when you are factoring, you're probably looking for pairs that are going to match up. Okay, that's going to appear most often with these. So the next step that we had was to write the restrictions. So we want to keep writing those restrictions. So remember with restrictions, we only look at the denominator. And if we have parentheses, go opposite of those parentheses. If we have just a variable by itself, it would be 0. But in this case, we do not have a variable by itself, but we do have parentheses. So a plus 5, that means negative 5 would be one of the restriction, one of the restricted numbers. a minus 2 in parentheses means positive 2 would be one of our restrictions. And a minus 5 means positive 5. So we have three restrictions to this, three numbers that make this undefined. So a cannot be negative 5, 2, or 5. And then the third step would be simplify or cancel. Now it's the same process. It's the only thing that we add in is we have a second fraction that we have. But since it's multiplying, we could just combine and assume everything on the top is together, everything on the bottom is together. So if you see something on the top that went on the bottom, whether it's in either fraction, you could cancel out. So this a minus 5 and this a minus 5, one's on the top, one's on the bottom, they can cancel out. This a minus 2, this a minus 2, doesn't matter, they're in separate fractions. One's on top, one's on the bottom. They can cancel out. a plus 5, a plus 5, they can cancel out. Now we look at the numbers we have left. 10 over 4. So I'll rewrite what we have. We have 10 over 4. Let's reduce this fraction. Each could be divided by 2. Divided by 2, so we get 5 over 2, and that is fully simplified. Everything is there. That is our final answer.